Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 67 in Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, please refer to page 325. We have several statements here, and one of them does not describe an advantage of methane for use in generating electricity. Which one of those statements is it? Well, the answer to this question is D. Exploration for and recovery of methane has no known adverse impact on the environment. That is patently false to begin with. And uh, it's not an advantage in the sense that it, uh, the fact that it does have an adverse impact on the environment is a bad thing. Uh, it, you know, we can always argue that any kind of uh, energy generation has its advantages and disadvantages, but this statement here, D, is not an advantage. Uh, in fact, it, it's, as I said, patently false. What about the other statements? Well, they are all basically true statements. Methane is readily available in most cities and towns near the end users of the electricity so the electric power plant doesn't have to be very far away from the uh, consumers of the electricity uh, that's always a good thing because then the transmission lines don't have to be so long B methane fired combined cycle power plants are efficient relatively so yes uh, more efficient than a lot of other types of uh, ways to get electricity C Methane-fired power plants might be modified to burn hydrogen someday. Well, yes, if hydrogen ever becomes available in quantity at a reasonable price, we can, in fact, modify a methane-fired power plant. Remember, methane is natural gas. It is a flammable gas. Uh, it's a lot like hydrogen in many ways, uh, not quite as flammable as hydrogen, and it's not as efficient as hydrogen either and it also produces a little bit of pollution whereas hydrogen doesn't e an uninterrupted supply of methane can be provided by underground pipelines reducing the need for energy consuming trains and trucks to transport the fuel from the refinery to the electric generating plant that is uh, basically a true statement now the the uninterrupted uh you might qualify that uh if there is a massive natural disaster, like an earthquake or a wildfire, uh, that supply may be interrupted, but under normal conditions, uh, you can pipe, uh, provide methane through pipelines. So that is, in fact, an advantage of methane for, for use in generating electricity. And there are a lot of advantages to methane for use in generating electricity, so much so that there is a major push now to convert primarily from coal to methane uh, creating some political controversies uh, and uh, <laughs> I won't get into that part let's actually look at it, what a power plant looks like that uses methane in order to generate electricity well what we have here is we have two ways to get uh, the electricity out of this particular plant and it's called for that reason a combined cycle uh, methane fired power plant this is a gas turbine right here the methane burns in here it's like a big jet engine and that turbine drives an electric generator and produces electricity also in addition to that the hot exhaust can boil water creating steam and you can use a steam turbine here to get electricity that way as well they call that a combined cycle plant and you will find that in chapter 14 I believe it's figure 14-4 but once again the answer to question number 67 is D uh, that does not represent an advantage uh, getting methane out of the ground is a process where we're punching holes in the earth and doing a lot of things that do in fact have adverse impacts on the environment <clears throat> but uh, you have to consider the trade-off 
uh, how badly do we need the electricity versus how how much damage are we actually doing to the environment this way. <laughs>